Let's talk slide seal maintenance and slide locks. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below. Also hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. And make sure to stay to the end because MJ is going to demonstrate how to lock the slides. We see this on the forums all the time. How do I maintain my slide seals? And then the other big question is like, what is this tool for regarding the manual slide lock? So we're going to cover both those things in this video. Okay, so what is a slide seal? We're gonna to go to the basics, okay? You can see what's behind me is a slide. And if you have an RV and you have a slide, you're very familiar with what it is. What keeps elements from getting inside the RV when you have a slide is a slide seal, which is right what I'm pointing at here, okay? It's usually a rubber seal and they don't need much maintenance, but they do need maintenance from time to time. So what are some of the things you're gonna to have to do to maintain your seal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is visually inspect your slide seals. Now they're going to go all around the slide room. So the side, the top and the bottom. You want to check for a couple things. You want to check and make sure that they're soft and pliable. Okay. If these start to become brittle and stiff, they will eventually fail and you're going to have a problem. Okay. You're also going to want to look for any rips or tears. Rips or tears are not good, right? The third thing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't see any light getting in. When the slides are open, you're gonna to wanna to look from the outside, right? And you wanna make sure everything is sealed up and there's no light getting in. When the slides are closed on the inside, you're gonna to wanna to look and make sure there's no gaps or uh, anything you can see light because that's gonna let bugs get in. That's gonna potentially let weather get in, whether that's rain, snow, or whatever, you don't want that. Now, if you see any of those things that I mentioned, dry seals, crack seals, gaps, I would suggest you take it to a professional and get those seals replaced. Now, for the stuff that you can do, and the stuff that's really important is the maintenance. Now, we do maintenance on our seals maybe twice a year, and it really doesn't take that long, okay? And it just consists of a couple of things. So, what are you gonna need for that? You're gonna need uh, this stuff. It's a slide-out seal conditioner. This is made by uh, Thetford Corporation. This is a straight up baby powder that you can get anywhere. This is our Aero Cosmetics uh, quick detailer and you will see the use for this later. And then you're gonna need uh, some kind of extension pole. Doesn't have to be this one, but this is just a microfiber mitt on an extension pole. You will also need a ladder so you can reach the top of the slide. We will not be doing that today. And you're gonna need a microfiber towel. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the uh, slide out conditioner and we're gonna link everything that we have in here on our affiliate links below, okay? How do you use this stuff? Very simple. Well, let me tell you what the function is first, okay? So you spread this stuff on, this conditions the rubber, which means that it keeps it soft and supple it has a UV agent in it that protects that rubber from UV rays, and it also acts to clean it, okay? You're just gonna spray. You see kind of like foams, right? And then the only thing you have to do, guys, is just like leave it there. It just does its thing. You just wanna clean like any overspray, which we will, right? The directions do not call for wiping it down. You don't have to wipe it down. Now look at the top, right? and look at the bottom one and it, it's it's very soft right it's almost um not greasy feeling but it's, it's kind of a soft feeling so you want to do that at least once a year all your uh slide seals go around get it done all right guys for the sake of the video moving this along my assumption is you're going to do everything that's that's what you should do do all the seals okay once that's all said and done you're going to want to lubricate the, the seals and now this comes from numar okay this may be different for every manufacturer but numar recommends using baby powder on their seals and how we do that is you take some baby powder right you put it on a microfiber towel sock whatever you want right put it on there slapped up and it actually smells nice and then what you do is you just put them on your seals. I'm actually gonna need a little more. So be generous with it. Yeah. It does smell good. There you go. 
So you're gonna do it all around your seals, okay? We're gonna show you how to do it on the inside. The microfiber towel comes next. This is to wipe up any excess. So I'm first, I'm just gonna wipe it down. And guys, it's just baby powder. It's not like, you know, battery acid. And you clean up whatever is on the sidewall. Now keep in mind, when you initially put this powder on the seals, it's going to be there. So when you open and close the slides, you may get some residue on the slide walls. It's not a big deal, just wipe it down. We're going to go inside and show you how to deal with the inside of your seals. So the inside portion of the seals, they don't really get hit with UV rays, right? So I don't concern myself with spraying it with that UV protectant like I showed you outside. But you still want them to be nice and smooth, right? You don't want those seals to stick. You kind of you kind of want them to be nice and fluid, all right? So we're going to do the same thing on the inside with the powder. You're going to hit. Now, granted, you're going to get powder everywhere inside, but it is what it is. The reason why I'm going to use this stick, because if you could see, our slide room is very long, okay? And there's no physical way I can reach. So what I will do is I will climb up on my chair here. God, don't hurt yourself, uh, MJ. How much trip? Okay, and then I will just run this mitt right along the whole slide. Now I, you probably can't see this, right? Okay. But trust me, it's getting on I there. Think I'm getting... You can see the pattern showing up. The other thing you can do guys, which is real simple, take like a pole or a broom handle, wrap a sock at the end. You could do that also. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just have this because I use it. It's like a big Q-tip you can make. Basically, right? yes. And then, you know, this side over here on the inside, I could just do it with my hands or with the pole, whatever. All right. And that's it guys. You just, it just takes a little bit of time. We have four slides, so I do it on four, four slide rooms. The next important thing we're gonna show you, MJ is gonna show you this, is regarding the slide locks. Okay, let's talk about slide locks. Now, uh, more expensive motorhomes, diesel pushers, a lot of these slide locks are automatic. How these slides work, at least on the new Mars, right? They are pulled in from the bottom. It's a cog design, which we spoke about in previous videos. But basically that cog pulls in the whole slide room on the bottom, that cog stays locked as it locked in on the bottom. But this is a big slide, right? Like I'm six foot one and you could see it's like right here. The top of the slide, there's nothing pulling it in from the top. So to secure the top when you're driving, to keep everything, pull it in nice and tight, there are slide locks. On the gassers and Numar, they are manual slide locks. That is what this tool is for, okay? This is not for branding people. This is not for beating intruders, although it could be used for that. Before you go out on the road, before you start driving, pull in the slide rooms and lock all the locks. Before you open the slides, unlock all your locks. And we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do the locks. This is actually one of my favorite parts. Um, I used to hate it because I didn't know what I was doing, but it is kind of fun when you figure it out. So there's gonna be locks on the front and back of each slide all right this position right now when it's in a v is open it's unlocked all right so in order to lock the slide when you want to put it you want to put it in the up position try to remember that the top of the tool goes on top all right this little straight part can you see that yeah okay that's going to go under right under here okay and then you're just going to push up like that same thing you're just going to do complete opposite to open it you're going to sc scoop the bottom part oh, the broom there, goes the broom. Um, there put the straight part on top like that so this and then this is on top they're always opposite and then just push down you're just using that that branding tool for the leverage right right but it's really once you get the hang of it you just have to make sure you're putting it in the right position to go uh, locked or unlocked we put little um notes to ourselves because if you go to unlock these or un open them and they're locked uh, that's not going to turn out too well for you so make sure that's what we do put little notes there to remember to unlock before you open your slides guys so i hope you enjoyed that video if you found the information useful please feel free to share this video with somebody else also if there is a way you maintain your slides that is different than what we just showed put it in the comments below to the left of me i'm going to put our rv diy as well as our rv essential playlist and for myself and mj we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road